What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'm going to talk about something I've been seeing uh, kind of being discussed a lot in the community over the last few weeks and that is the amount of bots out farming materials in the Elder Scrolls Online. Now I'm not sure how bad of an issue this is when it comes to PC. I'm sure it still happens but the majority of the players that I have been seeing reporting this or talking about this have been on console whether it be PlayStation or Xbox, old gen, new gen, it doesn't matter uh, and that has been an issue for a really long time. So if you are you know, just getting started in the game, you haven't played but a couple months and you're wondering what's going on. You're not quite sure what is happening when you're out farming and you see, you know, a big group of, uh, of players or just one running around from spot to spot very quickly. That is a bot farming. And it's not something that's new. It's something that has happened for a really long time in the ESO, sadly. I'm hoping that Zoss will address this uh, a little bit better than they have. They do have a pretty good system where they ban players. Don't get me wrong. They have banned a lot of people doing this. You'll notice sometimes you'll see a lot of bots and then sometimes you won't. And when you're not seeing any, that's when their band waves have gone out. But they don't really ever give us a lot of details about this. And it is frustrating. If you're a person that's out trying to do your daily crafting writs, if you're a person that's out trying to you know, get enough mats up to maybe craft some stuff to sell in the guild trader, it does get a bit frustrating when you're in an area and there's just lots of bots and you can't really get the amount of materials that you could if they were not there because they're just kind of taking everything. Uh, another problem in my opinion is, and it's not the only reason, but it is one of the reasons that materials are so cheap on console, especially uh, drow wax used to cost a lot. And of course it was a, a lot across the board when it was new, the game first came out. And of course things are going to get cheaper in price over the years as more people have access to it. But at the same time, I think on, on console at least, it has really hurt the prices of material. If you're going to sell a stack of leather, a stack of ingots, a stack of silk, the prices have dropped a lot over the years. And this is one factor that kind of goes into that in my opinion. And it's because there's so many people out there farming with bots. And if they have a bot out farming all day, can you imagine the amount of materials that you would have at the end of the day if you just did that? Or some people may leave their consoles on for 24 hours a day and just farm materials nonstop. They're going to have a, an endless amount of material, you know, of upgrade material, of, of gold upgrade material, all that good stuff. Uh, they're going to have tons of it. And then they can sell it for really cheap prices because guess what? They didn't have to do anything. They weren't out there farming for hours. They're self-individually, legitimately getting this stuff. They were just actually letting a bot do it so they can sell it for cheap. And I, that has driven the prices down because then if you're a legitimate player and you want to sell materials, you have to sell it at a cheaper price because if you don't, nobody's ever going to buy it. If you, you know, yours is five to 10,000 gold higher. Uh, than someone else's no one's really ever going to buy that and that is one thing i think that consistently keeps the prices down like i said just one thing there's other reasons as well but overall it is very frustrating and i was hoping that at some point zoss would maybe uh address this a little bit better than they have like i said in the past they'll say you know it's against terms of service we're going to ban anyone that has bots but as we all know on console, it has been an issue for a really long time. And like I said, you will see a good, you know, kind of band wave where there's not a lot of bots out. And then sometimes you can go to areas and there's just tons of bots everywhere. And it must be getting worse on a lot of platforms and a lot of different servers over the last, uh, you know, couple weeks because I've been seeing a lot of discussion about them. Uh, hopefully, Zoss will do something. I know it is frustrating. And I, I mean, it's even gotten so bad at times on PlayStation. I've not seen this on PS5 yet, but on PS4 for years, I remember seeing, you'll see a big group of bots. They're usually all sorts that have their pets out. And they'll be in an area like where there's a lot of, you know, bears, you know, that kind of thing where they can farm leather off a, a particular animal in game. And those be a big group of them uh, kind of broken up into different spots, standing on the individual area where that animal spawns. And then they will just, you know, pretty much kill it and it just kind of rinse and repeat. And they're there all day, every day. And that, like I said, is... Uh, very annoying and I'm hoping that Zoss does something to maybe address this a little bit more so it won't be as much of a issue going forward. I don't think they'll ever get rid of it but if they could tone it down even more I think this would make a lot of people on console very happy. Anyway guys let me comment your thoughts of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliates here on the channel Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.